ان الله لا يخفى عليه شيء في الارض ولا في السماء verily nothing is hidden from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala either it is in the earth or it is in the skies هو الذي يصورلكم في الارحام كيف يشاء it is he who fashions you in the wombs of your mothers as he likes he has made everybody and actually this is his choice how he has made you. how he has made you to look none no human being has his own choice it is he who fashions you and as he likes this is discretion huwa alladhi yusawwirukum fil arhami kayfa yasha la ilaha illahu again the same thing because this is the central theme of the quran tawhid there's no god except him none to be worshiped except him none to be obeyed independent of him you can obey others but under the obedience of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not independent of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's obedience huwa al-aziz al-hakim again al-aziz al-aziz is the person who has the total authority without any checks and balances he can do whatever he likes he is al-aziz so he has the authority al-hakim but this authority is with wisdom on the one hand he is all authorized almighty all powerful on the other hand he is the wise his wisdom is also complete so that authority cannot be misused it is always used with wisdom now comes that very important discussion about the understanding of the quran who will the anzala alayka al kitab it is he who has sent down on you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam this book منه آيات محكمات كل أم الكتاب وأخرى متشابهات. It consists of two types of آيات. منه آيات محكمات. Some of its آيات are fortified, absolutely clear in its meaning and connotation. كل أم الكتاب. They are the foundation. They are the basis of the law. law actually rests on ayat e muhkamat which are fortified and absolutely self evident there can be no doubt about their meaning wa ukhara mutashabihat and the other type of ayat in the quran they are mutashabihat they are allegorical from the ladina fi qulub why allegorical now there is a question we must understand because you know all the phenomena of the unseen universe we cannot understand them of the ghayb unseen because no human being has seen that world therefore when allah subhanahu wa taala gives the description of the unseen about the angels about the hereafter about the paradise the heavens about the hell now these things are unseen for man hence you know to describe those things allah subhanahu wa taala has used examples similes allegories and now these things you know they can be interpreted definitely in different ways uh, actually this is the difference between muhkamat and mutashabihat there can be difference of interpretation about mutashabihat because they are allegories but about the muhkamat there can be no difference of opinion fa amal ladina fi qulubihim zaghun so those people in whose hearts there is some disease their intentions are wrong fa yattabi'una ma tashabaha minhu they are always after those ayat who are allegorical and they want to know ibtigal fitna ke wabtiga tawila they want to create discord and they want to know the real meanings of those ayat which is impossible for man man because that world is unseen for him he cannot exact exact connotation of these things cannot be understood by man these things will become clear to us after the death and after we go to the hereafter then things will be clear otherwise before this the, these mutashabih ayat we have to believe in them but we cannot understand the exact meanings of those ayat which are describing the life hereafter the unseen world وَالرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ 
Now that was the attitude of those who have some disease in their hearts. They are always after the mutashabihat. But rasikhun of your ilm, on the other hand, those people who are well rooted in knowledge, who know the limitations of human intellect, this is the basis, you know. You must know what's our limitations. Everybody should know what is my limitation. Man should know what is the limitation of human intellect. It cannot reach everything and every place. It cannot comprehend everything. There is the saying in, in Persian language, Malumam should heat malum na should. In the end, you know, most of the learned people, they are forced to say that now I know that I know nothing. A person very low in knowledge, he thinks he is very knowledgeable. But as, as you know, the knowledge increases, then man understands that he knows very little. Malum am shud. Kehit malum am shud. Today I have understood and appreciated that, that I didn't know anything. I am standing there. The real problems of this universe are still unsolved. Does any scientist know the length and breadth of this universe? Despite, you know, all the telescopes and, you know, the big means that we have at our disposal. Nobody knows where it begins, where it ends. No physiologist says that he knows what is life. We don't know. Where is it attached to in the body? How does it slip away when man dies? We don't know even today what is sleep. How do we sleep? Where is the switch in the brain? Then when it is put off, a man goes to sleep. And when it is put on, a man gets up. Nobody knows. So fundamental questions are still this, this, the unsolved in the same way. Although the explosion of knowledge is so great that it has become impossible for a human being to know, to have all the knowledge of all the sciences. Impossible. Even then, the basic questions are still insoluble. They cannot be solved. So we must understand the limitations. That is why we found in Surah Al-Baqarah, Khudallil Muttaqeen al-Lazina yuminuna bil ghayb. The first condition, if you want to benefit from the guidance of this book is, that you must understand that the real realities, the final realities, they belong to another world that is unseen for us. And we cannot approach it. With the limited means that we have at our disposal, our senses, our intellect, we, are, we can only approach things and, and try to get knowledge from these two things. And you know they are limited. So, people who know the limitations of human knowledge, they say, This is their saying. They say, we believe in this Quran, in all of this Quran, all of is all of it is from our Lord. But you know, only people who are of deep understanding, they can reach this reminding and they can attain to this position. Otherwise, people who are small in knowledge, they think they are very knowledgeable. These people are rasikhun fil ilm. They go on praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbana la tuzi qulubana ba'da is hadaytana. O our Lord, don't let our hearts go astray. After you have given, in, given it the guidance. After the guidance has dawned on us, we have understood what is guidance. Now, please don't let our hearts go astray. Wahablana min ladul karahma. And grant for us the mercy from your own presence. In the Kantal Wahhab, definitely, surely, it is only you who bestows mercy. 